and um, here I'm at. Here I am showing you a shadow box, and as you can see, there's Alice. So this is my Alice in the Wonderland shadow box. I just place it here so you can see. No, well, I do it like that. And you can see that it stands. I'm just laying it against the patio door here so you can see a better look at it with the lighting, hopefully. <laughs> um, this is not too large of a shadow box. It's about 6 by 6 size. And I used Sweet Nectar from k and Company. Just one sheet. Um, one sheet of paper and half a sheet of a 12 by 12 chipboard to make the box. So as you're going to see right here on the sides, I covered the whole thing with the K and Company and sides here. And I put some wooden legs here so I could stand on its own. Here I put some I Am Roses and this is a bling I got from Carla. Carla's Etsy store. That's Carla S001. Did some bling on there. Butterfly. And one of those plastic flowers I got from Joann's. Um, as you can see something wiggling inside to imitate that the butterflies are fl fluttering or flying. I placed Martha Stewart butterfly punches on a string on a spring that I made out of wire so every time I move this box it makes it look like the butterflies are flying and there's another one down there on the corner the paper in the background as you can see is also from K and Company and I put a lot of stickles in the back to make it glitter there's a lot of little ones in there too but I don't know if you can see them they're hidden in there somewhere there's one right there right there a little one and here is my Alice hand painted drawn colored in with Copic markers the hair and the face and I cut her dress I used a punch to make the lace that's on her blue dress so there's Alice with her pearl earrings and I have another I am rose there in the corner and this is the whole look of the shadow box of Alice in the Wonderland. I decided to do a small version of my shadow of the steampunk fish that I entered on the contest under the sea with Lindsay Stamp Gang, which I won. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but I took that one because that one's a 12 by 12 layout and I decided to make a smaller one. And here goes. Let me take this one out of here so you can get a better look. And there it is. Here's the smaller version of my 12 by 12 layout of my project under the sea. As you can see there, I put another bobble, glass bobble, to make a jellyfish. And I used. Oops, I put the light on so you can see better. Um, there's uh, the reef with the little starfish. I put on the light so you can guys can see in it because it's so dark. And I covered it all with the crumbled copy paper that I just sprayed down with Lindsay Stump Gang uh, Sea Mist and, and Delphinium Blue. And there's my octopus made out of paper clay. And I also painted him with Lindsay Stemkin products. There's a reef and there's my fish made out of punch out uh, flames. <laughs> and then I made a little itsy bitsy tiny treasure chest that the octopus is protecting. I turn off the light now and this is how it stands. It has its feet and 
the bling and the trim from Carla S001 and I did the whole border with the aluminum foil sorry for the glare there and distressed it and painted and I put some marbles on to the for decoration so that's my smaller version of the steampunk fish today I decided to do another um, project using uh, my stamps from the Alice in Wonderland collection that I purchased and I made pillows uh, little pillows I stamped it on canvas cotton dot canvas unprimed and I primed it with a uh, matte medium then I stamped the image then I colored it with Copics and Sharpie and all the markers that I can get these colors for and then I sew it and then I sew, sew here along the line here um, some beads it's a lot of work this uh, little pillow and then I used wool felt and I did some felting here and here on the crown put stickles on the dress and on the crown this is also felt and this is felt then a little bow and there's the pillow of Alice in the Wonderland fringed the edges distressed it and I painted it with a blow pen red a pink color blow pen and I also stamp on the back this is how it looks when it's not painted and decorated and this is how it looks done so I made a little pillow it's about four inches by one and a half then I did an itsy bitsy one of Tweedledee and Tweedledum I also faulted to make it look like they were wearing sweaters and I painted it with jelly roll pens that have glitter again I beat it around the edge and I use a red blow pen to paint around the edge on this one I painted on both sides but this one is less decorative than this side my sewing is getting a little bit better I haven't sewn for a while but I think it's pretty cool so these are my own my own embellishments of Alice in the Wonderland made out of canvas unprimed um, canvas well, I hope you like my video today, and um, I'll see you the next time. Bye.